็ต้องเร่งให้ออกอาวุธกันหน่อยวางแข้งขวาไปทีนึงกันสักจับขาจะโต้วางแข้งซ้ายเครือหัดมีจิ้มหมัดมีหมัดขูนครับเครือหัดรอดครั้งสุดท้ายที่พบกันเนเครือหัดต่อยได้นับ8บาทแข่งสักวางแข้งวางแข้งเขี่ยข้างล่างแม่ไม่ไหวสลักกับโดนเขี่ยข้างล่างอีกThis is a private with g a n s a k s o r Plunjit, who was two-time Fighter of the Year in Thailand. To be named Fighter of the Year is a really big deal. They're called Yodmoy. He worked with me on a very aggressive offensive defense in Muay Thai, and especially among top-level Muay Thai people like g a n s a k being able to fight backwards is a huge deal. Anyone can fight forward, and that's what we're taught. But going backwards is a game changer. It's what makes an amazing fighter. If you're orthodox, you want to keep your front foot light, so your weight is on your back foot, not entirely, but enough that you can bounce that front leg. He's showing how if your weight is on your front leg, you're not ready to pop that leg up in defense. So when you're in defense, you're on your back foot. So as he's coming to attack me, my weight being on my back foot, I can quickly spring up that front leg in defense. He's like, if you need your front leg faster, you just tap it back. It's like the skip is too slow. So that's just to generate power, but he doesn't move his back leg at all. He's saying only having heart is not enough. You have to have this complete fighter, smart uh, IQ. They call in Thailand. So he's kind of just putting all of these together, and he just wants me to respond. But what was really brilliant about the way he had me doing this drill is he did it so fast that I could not think and decide which one I wanted to do. He's immediately training instinct. So he's saying you can't take a long time. Your response has to be really fast. He's like, if they catch your leg, they're going to start pushing immediately. Don't wait again. He's all about the timing. So he catches my kick, and he wants me to tee right away because once you catch a kick, if he's done his proper training, he's going to immediately fire this kick as a counter. He said everybody's the same. <laughs> To see how his body language, how he gets kicked and immediately kicks back, how he's basically just standing in his space, whereas I'm kind of like constantly recovering off of each of my things. That's why you do this drill for long periods of time every day, is to just train that response time and holding your space, basically. Whatever your move is. You have the next move you go to. So when your kick is caught, you immediately punch, and after you've punched, you have your next thing, which is grabbing the neck, moving the foot in, like this whole progression of punishing your opponent. If you don't have that, if you don't have the next thing you're working on, you just throw the punch and then you're done. <laughs> so he's saying, "What next?" Like he wants the progression. Like the drill becomes better as you go. With the fatigue, because your response time has to be more immediate and less uh, considered. Like it just becomes automatic. And the faster I can respond, the more tired he'll be. So again, he's talking about only moving forward. He's like, you can't just want to kill them. If you're coming forward and you teep someone and they catch your teep. You have to have a plan. If they catch your kick, you have to have a plan, and you're still doing all of this damage. But he's showing how you have plans A, B, C. You have to have good defense, good attack, or so that you know what you're going to do when someone counters you, and you know how to counter when someone has good defense or good offense. He's like, don't focus on only one thing at a time. Don't ever only focus on punching. Like you want to put everything together. He said, "Nothing's hard to learn. You just have to do it. Like, just keep practicing." It. Really great teachers teach you how to train something, and then it'll come into the fight because you've been training it, because you've put it into your body, and that's what he's doing.